What's going on everybody and welcome to another Raspberry Pi tutorial. In this tutorial what we're going to be talking about is accessing your Raspberry Pi remotely from your local network. You can access your Raspberry Pi from anywhere in the world, you can set that up, but that has a lot less to do with the Raspberry Pi itself and more to do with your actual network and that's a much more advanced tutorial, we're not going to be getting into that. So uh, there's two major ways to connect to your Raspberry Pi. One is via some sort of remote desktop, and the other is via just SSH, which is Secure Shell. Both have their own good benefits to them. So you would do like a remote desktop if you have any sort of uh, UI, or if you've got video that you want to show, or you just don't you you want to actually just share um, the the keyboard and mouse on some computer between the Raspberry Pi and all that. You don't want to have to hook it up every time. So um, the first thing that we need to do to remotely access the Pi is make sure we're connected in some way to the local network. You can come up here to your Wi-Fi, click on that. Um, you can't see it actually because my face is in the way. There. Uh, you can um, choose your uh, Wi-Fi, make sure you're connected, or you can connect you know, physically with an Ethernet cable or whatever. Now, once you've got that, go ahead and do Control, Alt, and T, and that should open up a... Um, your terminal. Now I want to make it a little larger just so everybody can see. And hopefully that's not too large. Let's see what we get. Ah, not bad. So, um, so now what we're going to go ahead and do is uh, you can do if config and that will give you a bunch of information. If you are connected um, physically, it would probably your internet IP address would be up here. Um, but I am not connected physically. I'm actually connected via wireless LAN, so that's down here. And what you're looking for is your INET address. My address is 192.168. This is a local address. 192.168.0.103. Okay. So we have that information now. Uh, what we want to do is let's see if I can get bottom of this. I've clearly made this too big. Let's uh, go down a little bit. Um, once we've done that, once we have that, we could, in theory, connect to the Raspberry Pi, but it's not going to let us because the SSH server is disabled by default now on the Raspberry Pi. So if you have an older Raspberry Pi, um, actually, I suppose it would come with the installation, so or the, like your actual operating system. So it used to be the case that SSH was always just enabled by default. But as more and more people are using Raspberry Pis, they're using them in their businesses and all that, um, it has become a better idea to not do that because if people got open Wi-Fi, they just need to find the Raspberry Pi's IP address. They know the default login and password, so that can be problematic. So generally, if you do have the SSH server enabled and you're using the default username and password, it's going to keep warning you, by the way, you're doing this and it's stupid. Anyway, we're going to open up the Raspberry config. So do sudo, maybe. Hmm, I'm still not on screen, I don't think. Let's see if I can uh, do this. I think we're just typing off screen. Yeah. So what you want to do is sudo raspi-config. Hit enter, and this is the configuration for your Raspberry Pi. You can do a whole bunch of stuff. You can change the password. You can uh, change your host name. You can do boot options. We're interested in interfacing options. Let's go ahead and enter there. And we want to enable SSH. So go ahead and enter here. And would you like the SSH server to be enabled? Yes. Boom. Done. Okay. So now SSH is enabled um, and we can connect. So at this point, we actually can connect via SSH. Now, if you aren't familiar with SSH, uh, we'll hit finish. Um, basically, on Windows, you're going to need something like PuTTY. So P-U-T-T-Y. You can go to putty.org. Um, download that and you can connect that way or if you're on Macintosh or Linux It's as simple as opening up your terminal and doing SSH Username which would be pi at whatever your IP address is in my case. It was 192.168.0.103 So you can do that and connect Now if you're on Windows, it's a little more challenging um, Oops, I've already got this one's already up, but uh, basically let's do new session um, you'd come over here and you'd type in the IP address, so 192.168.0.103, hit enter, this will pop up, asks you to log in, I'll log in as Pi, password is Raspberry by default, connected, and boom, and as you can see, um, SSH is enabled and the default password for Pi has not been changed, blah, 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 and the next time we log in to the actual GUI desktop, we'll also have another warning there telling us that we're, we're probably making a big mistake. 
So, um, okay. So that's how you can SSH into the Raspberry Pi. Once you do that, it's basically the command line, as you can see. And so now we can do all kinds of stuff here. Once you've done that, um, like I was saying before, there are going to be times where you want a GUI desktop for whatever reason. So you can also do a remote desktop. Now for this, on Windows and Mac, you probably the easiest is just to download remote desktop by Microsoft. I think Mac also has a remote desktop software. I'm not sure. Um, and then on Linux, it's GR desktop. So GUI remote desktop. GR desktop. So that would be GR desktop, like so. Otherwise, if you're on Mac or Windows, it's uh, virtual, or I'm sorry, it's remote desktop by Microsoft. Microsoft. Okay, if you're on Windows, you should already have it. Now, in order to get there, what we need to do is install some sort of remote desktop client on the Raspberry Pi. I choose XRDP. If you have um, already tried to install XRDP and it failed for whatever reason in the past, it was easier. Now it's harder for some reason because you already have a VNC server. You might need to run sudo apt get remove XRDP VNC for server and tight VNC server. If you've already tried to install, um, you might need to run that command just to remove everything and start clean. Otherwise, if you are clean, um, you should be able to just do sudo apt get install tight VNC server. server. Now I already have it, so this should be done. And then you can do sudo apt get install xrdp. If for whatever reason something gets, uh, when, we, when you go to connect and it doesn't work for whatever reason, it hangs or whatever, um, go ahead and run that thing to, to just clear everything and try again. So once you've got xrdp installed, you're good to go. You, you could restart the service xrdp, but it should be enabled by default once you install. Now on Windows, what you can do is um, open remote desktop. And in here, you can type the IP address. I'm actually 103. Hit connect. Um, yes. And then here's your like your login screen. Now you can type pi raspberry. Hit enter. And if you hang here, that's probably when you'll want to do your, uh, you know, remove everything and try again. Otherwise, here we are in the remote desktop. Now, because I already have a remote desktop, um, it's just showing me like a copy of this other one because um, this is also a remote desktop connection. But normally, you won't share it. Like, so this is not on the screen on the actual Raspberry Pi, and I can even turn it on and show you that that is not showing you know, this stuff here. And if you are on a remote desktop and you're trying to show uh, something from the Raspberry camera, by default, it's actually going to show on that screen. I'm not positive if you unplug the HDMI if it would work, but anyway, um, no big deal. But just know, sometimes it can be kind of screwy. Anyway, um, that's it for the remote desktop and remote connection, SSH, all that fun stuff. If you're having a problem, you got questions, uh, whatever, feel free to leave them below. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next tutorial where we're going to be talking about actual terminal navigation and commands and all that kind of stuff. So I will see you in the next tutorial.